Come and cook. Five and five. Ten. Nine. <laughs> How y'all doing, y'all? How y'all doing, y'all? That's country, eh? <laughs> That's southern. That ain't country. I heard somebody say it ain't southern. It ain't country, it's southern. It's time to do some cooking, y'all. Uh, hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us all week. Last night had a lot of fun. Uh, so today we're going to make it simple, we're going to make it easy, we're going to make it sweet, we're going to make it lovely, we're going to make it creamy, we're going to make it good. We're going to do some bread pudding. Mm. We did bread pudding some months ago with mom, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know, I just want to make some bread pudding. So uh, put my spin on it. We're making like a, if you're not, not familiar with turtle, chocolate turtle, it's like caramel chocolate stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, jo- yeah, Johnny. So that's what I'm going to do. Make Henry Kane, thank you for the stars. Hello, Kevin Goldring, thank you all for joining. It's cooking with Kip. We're about to do yeah. some bread, quick bread pudding. Quick bread pudding. So I, I, I just actually I was cleaning out the freezer today. Hmm. So I've been I've been pulling out all kind of stuff, just stuff. We got three freezers and they're all full. So I'm like, God, we need to get rid of some stuff. So yeah. I pulled out some old French bread right here. I had some brioche buns right here. And Mama always told me when you have a bunch of bread in the, in the freezer, it's time to make some bread time pudding. Make some bread pudding. So right. It's kind of stale, <laughs> so I'm just gonna cube it up. But so that's that's what you want. I'm getting ready right to cook it, ain't it, baby? I ain't mm-hmm. messing around. Now. Hello, Wanda Crompton, Doral McKnight, Sims. Thank y'all for hopping on. Some bread pudding today, y'all. Use. Gloria Gilmore Union. Hey, Reese's Pieces. Dora loves your shirt. Thank you. Hello, Yvonne Payton, Eleanor Rowe. Thank y'all so much for joining. Tammy Johnson. Hey, sis. So I'm just taking some bread. If you see some little funny little pieces on here, I chopped up some nuts a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So it's ideal to use day-old bread for bread pudding. Or stale. Or stale. Because you're going to add the, the kind of the cream or the custard to it. And you want to soak it in but not just become. Well, you can let it come um, kind of. Like a doughy, mm-hmm. but I want to have a little texture to it, a little bump to it, as uh-huh. I said. Hey, Beverly Campbell, Jackie Graham Miller, Sherry Peterson says she got a recipe book out now. Hey, Doris Williams, Jan Kegler, Jane Kegler, maybe Jan, Vanessa okay. Thomas, hey, everybody. Okay. So I'm using some old stale French bread that I had in the freezer. Yes. And um, I'm sure everybody knows, if you try not to... If you're trying to keep a bread from going stale or molding, you can put it in the freezer. Yeah, I always throw um, it in there, especially the breads that you buy, like at the uh, at the grocery store or the market that has those little air holes in it to keep it from um, mm-hmm. sweating. Mm-hmm. Well, the air holes out there, like if I'm, like she thought says, I'm sure you know, the bread starts to get hard. Mm-hmm. So before it get hard, right before that, I just toss it in the freezer, put it in another bag, Ziploc bag, and freeze it, and then. I yeah. pull it out and make something, um, dressings or, or something that I can utilize. So I'm going to use probably about uh, probably about six cups of bread mm-hmm. somewhere in there, and uh, and then I'm going to use about two and a half cups of milk. Or today I'm actually using heavy whipping cream. Uh, four eggs, um, half a cup of brown sugar, mm-hmm. half a cup of granulated sugar. About four ounces, four tablespoons of butter. Um, did I say the four eggs? Yes, four eggs. Miss Burgess said good afternoon. I was hey. just watching Kip's mom make biscuits. She was moving. Love her. Yes, she was. Yeah, mom don't mess around. She don't mess around. She'll be um, turning 85 on Monday. Monday. Yeah. So it's a special birthday for her. Yeah. And we are blessed to still have her. We'll still probably be see able mom to... in a little bit. She'll probably be yeah. calling when, man. Hey, Sharon. Thank you for the stars, Emma Price. Hello, Doris McCray, Florence Taylor, Sherry Lawrence, Lula, okay. Nathan. Thank y'all for oh. hopping on. I almost made a mess. Jackie Adams. So we're going to cut up the brioche buns. These are good buns to make little sliders yes. with. And we had those because you made a bunch of pulled pork sliders. Yeah. And we didn't use them all. So in the freezer, they went. And now they're going to be incorporated in a wonderful bread pudding. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the the I'm probably gonna make the brioche on the top. That's why I did that because those are hard, a little harder than these. Okay. So I wanted to soak up the bulk of the cream. Hello, Nicole. Nicole, Sherry White. 
Angela Patton, Janet Garner. Thank y'all for hopping on. Make sure you're sharing. We appreciate the love. All right. So, we get the bread in there. Push it down in there. Mm -hmm. Let me clean this, this mess up. Mom also, my mother-in-law, she saves her end pieces to her loaves of bread. Yep, she does. She throws them right in the freezer. Crumbs on it. Yeah. Um, if you have like one or two hot dog buns left in a package, put it in the freezer. Because when it, you get get a good mess of them, as we say here. Uh, Mom's thrifty. Mom is thrifty. It's time to make some bread pudding. Hello, Joanne Nether McWilson. Renee right. May. Hello. All right. So I got the bread cut up into little cubes that I want. Mm -hmm. um, so I got my half and half right here. Um, I'm going to use this bowl. I had these. Okay. This, uh, these crumbs in. Just chopped up some bread. Hey, Clarence, Vonda Anderson. And I'm going to go ahead and crack my eggs. Okay. And because uh, mom taught me this, always crack your eggs in a separate bowl because you never know what the eggs may going to look like. Mm -hmm. May have a bad spot in it. Mm -hmm. so, I still do that. Still do that to this day. I Hello, Valletta Watson. Take a look at it. And if it's good, I toss it in my bowl. Joyce Cox. So Gloria received full, her seasoning full. today. All right, fantastic. Mm -hmm. We got a lot more that's going out and on the way, y'all. Yes. Um, boom. And I appreciate you guys ordering those seasonings. Thank you so much. Okay, so I got the four eggs in my bowl. We're going to whip those up a little bit first before I start putting my milk and my other stuff in. Okay, we're making bread pudding if you're just joining. Yes, we are St. Blackwell. Beat those up. Hello, Evelyn. That's so wonderful. I love watching the older videos that was recorded before my time. Yes, ma'am, Miss Burgess. <laughs> All right, so beat up the eggs. In there. Then I have a teaspoon of cinnamon. Going in the eggs. Teaspoon of nutmeg. Teaspoon of allspice mm -hmm. and half teaspoon of cardamom, half teaspoon of ginger. Okay. This is, this is true about eggs. That's Trisha Ann. Hello, beautiful couple from Cleveland, Ohio. So Thank you, sis. About two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to go ahead and get this uncarpeted and add the rest of it in there. Okay. Kind of get those lumps of those. You know what? I'm through with the chopping eggs. board. You know, okay. I'm going to get rid of that hole. Well, it was only leaning because the um, spoons were under it. Yeah, but I'm so high. So Hello, thank you, Miss Burgess, for the stars. Hello, Marsha Edwards, Adele Stewart, right, Mary Jackson. I received my rub. It's great. Thanks. That's Miss Emma, Emma Price. Thank you so much. Thank you. Linda Pendergrass from Hampton. All right, I'm gonna beat out some mixing that those, those spices in there. Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna take my brown sugar cup, half cup, half a cup, half a cup granulated sugar, half a cup of brown, half a cup of granulated. It's going in the egg, it's getting all frothy and pretty and tasty. Tasty. This is our custard. He only did half of the heavy cream. I'm going to put the rest in. in a minute. Hey, Deborah Dunbar. I'm going to add vanilla. I'm using vanilla paste because I enjoy using the vanilla paste. A little bit vanilla, different than vanilla. A little bit different than vanilla itself. But I like the look that it has, the taste, the texture. Um, it has a robust flavor mm -hmm. to it. Two teaspoons of the vanilla bean paste. That so if you don't you have the use paste, va vanilla's fine. You can use regular vanilla yes. flavor. Yes, correct. Um, Yolanda says she shared us with the free friends so they can enjoy us as Thank well. Thank you. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank, Thank you, sis. So we're gonna whip that on up, and then we're gonna start adding some more of the cream. All right. Hello, Kathy. Sounds so delicious. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Miss Kathy. I know everybody don't do bread pudding. I have friends, but man, I don't eat bread pudding. I don't do that. If, and that's cool. But, you know, I grew up on it, like it, love it. And want some more of it. <laughs> Hello, Diane Harper. 
Get the rest of that out of there. The rubber spatula, get it all out. This is one of our favorites. We love bread pudding. That's Willetta Watson Brown. Thank right. you so much. So, I'm going to take about four tablespoons of butter. We're going to melt that. Melt it. Yeah, I'm going to throw it in the microwave right quick. Okay. If you're just joining, those are caramel chocolates back there. Yeah. So, this is going to be an indulging turtle yes, it is. bread pudding. It's going to be indulging, you say, baby? Yes. You, what's my favorite candy? What's your favorite candy? Turtles. Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. Hello, Gwendolyn Childs. Not quite milky, not Where do you buy vanilla paste from? I love bread pudding. Um, you can buy it at um, baking stores, um, Whole Foods. That's not a baking store, but I know they have it. Hobby Lobby has it. Hobby Lobby? Yes, on yeah. their baking aisle. On the baking aisles. Um, usually in a, in, a, in, a, in a store, I don't always see it in a regular grocery store. Mm -hmm. So I see it in more of the gourmet or the healthy food stores mm -hmm. or the... Uh, or a good baking store. Miss Dora uh, McKnight Sim says she likes white chocolate three pudding. I think uh, she meant bread pudding. Yes, yeah. uh, Chef I've has made a before. Chef has made a white chocolate. Actually, to be honest, with you, I would look for white chocolate. Didn't want to look hard. And then I would. But I got some white chocolate in the pantry. No, we got this, so we gonna roll with it. Okay, <laughs> all right, everybody come. <laughs> so I was walking down the aisle and I seen some salted caramel chocolate. I mean, chocolate, salted chocolate caramels, right? Mm-hmm. So I said, hmm. Let me let me show the people one up close. Let them see what you're working with. Yolanda, I'm gonna help you, sweetie. This is Give them me right just here. a second. And I'm I, I left. I, I'm cutting. It, I, I'm gonna show you what I did in a minute. Okay. So I left one over. Mm -hmm. close Cedric Thomas says Amazon has the vanilla paste. Thank you, brother. Okay. That was one of my mom's go-to desserts with nine kids. That's Mary Jackson. So I'm going to add that melted butter into it. Thank you, Diane Harper. And I'm making a rump sauce today. Yes, he is. Someone said, and I missed the comment, that they usually like bread pudding with bourbon sauce. But well, to me, I'm making a rump sauce, and since I'm making a rump sauce, it's going uh, in. It's we're going gonna, in we're gonna put some in there, too. The I didn't even measure it. I just put it in there. All right. I just put it in there. And, and you just put some more in there. Everybody come. <laughs> oh, All right. Lord. Thank you. Everybody so loves your shirt, Chef. Thank you so much. So I got the chocolate. Whoa. Slow your roll, Kip. Slow your roll, Kip. Um, so Yolanda. Sandra Sandra Sermons. Hello. I received my seasons. You're welcome. Um your sausage and your shrimp in the bowl. What goes first? What were, what were we talking about? She was cooking something. She asked, how does she cook the shrimp and the sausage? Oh, like a low country bowl? Uh-huh. What was the called? Sausage or shrimp? Yes. The sausage first. Shrimp requires a little bit of time of she cooking. She got crab legs, too. Same thing with crab legs. Okay. So I mean, it, in my opinion, because, mm -hmm. you know, everybody cooks a little different. But shrimp doesn't take a lot, lot of cooking. Neither does crab legs. Mm -hmm. um, after you get them in, you want to bring the temperature down, let the shrimp, maybe let the shrimp sit in for a minute, mm -hmm. and the crab legs, and then absorb some of the season. But you don't want to be just cooking them to death, because they're... They make both of them tough. Tough, right. Crab legs, they're just kind of, you would think as long as crab legs are in the water or the whatever, it's going to get even moisture, but mm -mm. somehow the moisture just kind of pulls out. Absorbs. I mean, you yeah, dissolve. Okay. Okay. I hope that helps you, so Hopefully that, hope that helps you out. So I yes. put the butter into my custard. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take my... Uh, that was four tablespoons of melted butter went into the custard, if you right. all are following. Thank you. Hey, Ronnie Lee Adams, Mildred Roscoe. So I'm going to spray my pan. Okay. Here's our pan, our baking pan. Yeah. Don't them look good enough to eat? Salted caramel, chocolate caramel. Good Lord, today. Spray and the pan. Woo! There we go. Spray your pan. I'll How put some butter on it, put some shortening on it, whatever you like. Yes. And, uh. How hello. You alright? Yeah, we just got an amber alert, guys. So I'm so. just going to get the bread in. Put those hard pieces on the bottom if I can. Yes, all right. It was almost perfect for that pan. Wasn't it? Yes, you were. That was a great choice because I was trying to get you to uh, use a smaller pan. So I, I, I must confess that I wasn't a bread, a lover of bread pudding okay. until we got together, babe. So, all right. Change your mind, huh? Yeah, and to me, it's pure sorcery how these little pieces are finna all uniform and become one. There you go. <laughs> it's magic, so we're guys. We're going to take the salted caramel chocolates. We're going to get them in there. 
I've had those candies and they are to die for. Yes, Miss Doyle. So, so these, what I did is I quartered them. Mm -hmm. I just took one whole one. Mm -hmm. They started to stick to my cutting board. And I just quartered them. That's all I did. Just to make them, you know, smaller pieces throughout the bread pudding. Hey, Ellie Brown. Hello, family. Hey, Al, saying hello. Hope, hope all is good with yourself. We are well, Al. Hope you are recuperating well. Yeah, Al. You got to... I ain't going to go there. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Al, Al almost Walker. went there when I said I ain't going to go You got a new set. I just hope you get better, man, with that new set you got. <laughs> hello, Harold Rucker. How you doing, brother? Hope all right. Well. So, let's get the chocolates in there we are making bread pudding if you're just joining thank y'all for hopping on it is a salted chocolate caramel bread pudding yeah we called it turtle turtle yeah but that's what you said was right baby all that hey all right sis elder archie league love your shirt thank you so i got my custard custard can, going in we can pour it over here Thank you, Diane. Hey, Mary Taylor. Which what I could have, I could have put the bread in the bowl mm -hmm. and then poured it over in there, but I'm going to put it on in the pan. Mm -hmm. And we're going to need some more. We're going to need some more custard? We're going to need some more. Okay. Okay. Stand up. All right. So, Chef is going to whip up some more custard. And it's important that all of your bread pieces... I'm actually really not going to make more custard all together. I'm going to just use some more heavy whipping cream. Okay. And he's just adding to the bowl that he used. You want your custard coming up to about there, covering the bread. Or else you're going to have hard pieces at yeah. the top. Yeah, my mom's probably talking about me right now. He yeah. need more. <laughs> yeah, his mom probably, my mayor's saying he know he needed some more custard. Hey, Anthony Tyrone Doyle from Augusta, Arkansas. Thank you, brother, for so, joining. So actually, as it's absorbing it up. I'm pressing it down in there. Hey, so. Rachel. I miss you. It's Rachel Postel? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was Rachel Postel. That's Rachel Davenport. Rachel <laughs> Davenport, I love and miss you too. But I thought she was someone I knew. <laughs> I tell you when you said that. Hey, Elder. Right. They doing great today, Elder. Both of them. We, we He was on the phone with his mama. I was on the phone with my mama. Yeah, a little bit more to this. You know what? That's wow. our. That's one of our Saturday morning routines. We both talk to our mamas. Sneaking that in there. I seen you sneaking sneak that. Sneak that in there. That rum in there. I'm hey, Nanette Johnson. In there. A little bit of that butter in there. Miss Burgess said, "I love bread pudding. Watching very closely. Who knew? Seventy nine years old and never made it, but love to eat it. Oh, she will be making it after today. So he just did a little more heavy whipping cream." And what else you put in there? Rum? A little bit more flavors to it. And and I used some of the stuff that was at the bottom of the bowl, really. Okay. Hey, Itsy Shopper. We miss you too, sis. All right. Mr. Irvin is still in the hospital. Thank you all for your prayers. Keep them coming while they get him stabilized enough to come home. Y'all okay. know he ready to bust out of jail. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now that's kind of what I want right there. Yes, Cindy Barnes. I don't like bread pudding, but wait a minute. Do I see chocolate? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, I got it covered. But so before we put it in the oven, we're going to let it set for just a minute. Yes, and the sitting is important because... It starts to absorb up that that bread. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the custard is going into the bread. Right. And it's surprising to me, like I said earlier, it's it's... Wonderful to watch all those different pieces of bread. I'm gonna drop a message if y'all listen clearly. All those different pieces of bread from different packaging coming together in one dish, and you won't be able to tell one from another yeah, when you together. cut it. Yeah, all right, that was y'all message for today. <laughs> okay, I got that in. Picked you all up something on my travels today. Oh, Miss Elder, you are too kind. Um. So I'm going to wipe this pan off. U UPS threw a curveball at us. I don't know about y'all's local UPS stores, but they decided starting in yeah. June that they were closing yeah. so on Saturdays. I had some stuff that I was shipping out today and I couldn't. So I was going All on locations. <sighs> Nene, I was you like, whoa, I can't ship anything out today. No. And he went up there to find out they were closed. Yeah, I went Nanette Johnson, stuff. you picking up what I'm putting down, sis? All right. <laughs> 
So I got that in. So I have a little mixture of cinnamon, salt, cinnamon, and uh, and sugar mixture that uh, I put together that Lola actually used on toast and stuff. Yeah, Lola makes the best cinnamon cinnamon sugar toast ever. I never had bread pudding. Oh, so this is turtle total, not like candy turtle. <laughs> Coming in late. Yeah, so it's we're gonna, like... We're going to sprinkle a little bit of that, that cinnamon sugar mixture. Keith Howard, it's like the candy turtle because it's chocolate, peanuts, and caramel. So we have... Oh, a, the pecan. Pe I mean, pecans. Baby, I didn't put them in there. I thought you was going to do them in a topping. No. Lord. Thank you, Keith Howard, for coming in late. You weren't late, son. You yeah. was right on time. I'm just bringing it right back out the bowl. All right, I everybody calm down. We have to add the pecans because that that's what makes the turtle. Lord, today, what you going to do by me? I'm taking this right back out because them pecans. <laughs> Thank you, Joan Nether, no, for the no, stars. Wait, 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 where them pecans at? Checking in. Hello, Mr. Jeffrey Clark. That's all right. He putting the pecans. I toasted those pecans. The pecans. So now we can call it an official Jesus turtle. Jesus Christ. Because it has chocolate, caramel, and now the pecans. Pecans, pecans, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. I'm glad he said something. Thank you, Sherry. Hey, Pamela Dow. Uh, come on, Marilyn. Say, uh. <laughs> I know that's right. Get it together, Kip. Hey, Man, if, if this would have been a recording, see, I could have edited that part out. But it's live. What do you know it allowed me to get the mixture all... Oh, messed up. Oh, all mingled Burgess, up together. I'll inbox you, sis. I need to put this wine down. Now, I'll keep... <laughs> Chef, what you need to put down? I don't have it. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Well, that's the problem. Pecans. Dijon, he'll say pe pecans. <laughs> pecans. I'm from I'm from the sip. <laughs> that's one state over from, from, from Georgia. That's it. All right, so let's get this in there. Al said we call that a senior moment. <laughs> Ooh, woo. I think you hit the nail on the I head, know, that's right. Al. I just hit, uh, somebody called me a senior the other day. Sheila said sometimes you feel like nuts, sometimes, sometimes you don't. <laughs> sometimes, oh, you sometimes, sometimes you will, and sometimes you won't. <laughs> All right, so I got that in. Let's clean up this. It Send me good. some turtles. Send me some turtles are my favorite candy. We are going to the oven, baby. Me too, I Pamela. I think you had a chance to sit and it's, mix. It's the set mix. Okay, so the oven is on 350. Miss Dora said it happens to the best of us. It's in there now, though. You bleed that, buddy. If, All if, right. if it wasn't for Keith, we wouldn't have seen it until it, it was in the oven. And I wouldn't even told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told you. Lord, All right, so today. We, I saved a little bit. We'll put a little bit in that sauce, baby. The pecans? Okay, so All Chef right. Chef got his sauce pot ready. He about right to get here. this sauce together. Yeah, so we gonna use four tablespoons of butter. And anyone that is a lover of bread pudding knows that bread pudding is uh, enhanced with a great sauce. It can be a bourbon sauce, a whiskey sauce, a rum sauce. It don't have to have any liquor in it. No, but, it don't. It don't. Cause Mama don't put it in hers. <laughs> Because <laughs> your mama used uh, okay, this flavor. Is this is going to help me cook better. You the great dessert deserves a great Grand Marnier. <laughs> that's why you forgot. Just for you, Al. Wait a minute. That's why you forgot them pecans. Because I didn't have that Grand Marnier in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lydia right, Hardy. So we're going to put the four tablespoons of butter. Jeffrey said he's going for Golden State in seven. That sounds like it might happen. But, you know, I can't I'm going to tell you what. I mm -hmm. was. I was. I wasn't proud. What happened to me last night, baby? Chef got on the sofa, ate them doggone flatbreads and salad, and went to sleep. <laughs> I watched the whole was, end of the game. I was done. I watched it by myself. I woke up and it was over. Now, the opposite of that, if I fall asleep, I'm awakened to Kip screaming at the TV. Yeah, and I, I don't yell. I, I do this little thing with my, with my finger. Like I do that <laughs> in tense moments. So I did a few of those last night and I was hollering for stuff. I didn't see nothing. All right. Aldine said that was my drink back in the day. Al said, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we melt in the, uh, the, the butter, butter for, this, for the rum sauce. Then yes. we're going to put a half a cup of brown sugar mm -hmm. into that. Brown sugar, babe. I need my hot. 
Bachelors. Miss Evelyn, we sure will. I gotta have look at my pot of sauce. That's this John here. <laughs> oh, I, I missed the tablespoon of butter. Okay, so that butter. Brown sugar and butter. Is in there. We're gonna get hey, Miss Janice Smith. Cooking down. Get it stirring up. Jeanette Cox says she prefers rice pudding, but we'll try bread okay. pudding. Right. I don't think I've ever had I'll rice pudding. That. I have. You have? Yeah. I've had mom made rice pudding before. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get that stirred up. We're going to add just a little bit of cream to it in just a second. Okay. We will, Dijon. I will make sure. Hey, Dessa. And, you know, we're going to make it a rum sauce. So that's why initially why I had the rum out, right? Mm-hmm. Why you put it up? I ain't put it up. It's right there behind me. All right. You said that with a little force. <laughs> I ain't put it up. Put it up. <laughs> Celtics got the next two games, Pamela Dowsey. All right. We got some Celtics. We got some teams out there. Love your team. Love your team. Love your team. Babe, you putting in the bets out there? No. I'm not Hey, better. Tia. I'm not a better. Uh -oh. Tonda. Tonda, we'll call you back, sis. You making sweets tonight? What sweet are you making for Mama's birthday? I am baking Mama cake. I may I'm take y'all. Mama, Mama, listen. Everybody, be Mama quiet, cause watching. Mama watching. Everybody. Oh Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Anywho, my Mama <laughs> from Mississippi. All right. So we're gonna put a little bit of table whipping cream in here. Can I have a scoop? Yes, ma'am, Miss Elder. You need one shot Crown Royal and two shots of ginger beer. You won't go wrong while you... Who's that? <laughs> Jeffrey Clark. That sounds like a good recipe. He joined us last night. I right, we got you, brother. Uh, Chef said it sounds like a good recipe. All right, so we got the uh, cream in. And I'm eyeballing this, y'all. I swear I am. I'm just... I know what it, I want it to look like. And this uh, spatula can um, five, take five, high five, heat. Five, oh, yeah. It can five, take six, high six. heat. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of Myers. Isn't that a tablespoon? That's your tablespoon. <laughs> hey, Mama Shirley, we're making beef stew and biscuits. Ooh, Linda, that sounds good. Hey, Snickaboo. Mm -hmm. That got, rum. Those nuts that we had left over. It's going in there. Mm. We're going to just let that cook for a minute. That's all the rum sauce we're going to have? I <laughs> think like this is deja vu. Have I, have I heard that somewhere before? That's all the rum sauce we could. <laughs> Here in Louisiana, that thing would be looked up. Rachel Wood said, no, that's right. He acting all shame. Mama might eat some of this tomorrow now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Babe, what you look back for? You going I'm to get some more? No, I want you to taste it. Oh. Put your finger out here. That's hot. It ain't that hot, babe. Put your finger out here. Uh-uh. Just, just rub your finger across the, the, the thing, rather. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Bad. You sound like Jayla. Ooh. This week, my my nephew. I'm gonna, let me get back. My nep nephew was here. Uh, he spent the week with us. I had him in a basketball camp in the city with a good friend of mine, and uh, I made him some different meals during the week. And uh, the other morning, I made some French toast for breakfast. He had to be at camp at seven, maybe seven forty. Well, eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock. Seven forty-five. He said, well, "French toast is good, okay." Then later on, the next, later on that afternoon, I picked him up. I said, you eat bologna? He said, yeah. He said, I said, how do you usually eat your bologna sandwich? I'm bologna? Just, you know. I said, well, I'm going to fix it up. He said, okay, so, yes, sir. So, you know. I put the bologna in the, in the uh, skillet. Then my little, you know, you know, you got to cut the bologna on the corners so it don't pop up. Put your slit in. I, two pieces. Then I put the cheese in between. Like some good cheese too. Put it in between, then I toasted this bread, some good bread stuff. Some mm, brioche why you did bread. Brioche sandwich bread. And I put a little mayo on it, then I shredded some lettuce. Made some I had some 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 good tomatoes. And sliced those on there. Put a little herb seasoning on there. A little olive oil and vinegar. So now this is my little ten year old nephew. Made it up, cut it for him, made it look pretty, stacked some chips on it. And he, he picked it up the sandwich first and he bit it. He said, Ooh. <laughs> now I thought something bad happened. He said, I'm kill this good. <laughs> that baby. He said, Ooh. 
He said, this is good. All week, he was eating so well here. <laughs> I told him, you need to, Portia, he going to be telling Portia, Mom, you need to cook like yeah, I don't want a regular bologna sandwich no more. Tia said, did you burn the ends? Double batch yeah. sauce, please. Uh, I know that's right. Uh, I know. I'm going to have to make some more later on, huh? That sauce looks delicious. Mm. It looks like a caramel. It has a good flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Probably do need just a little bit more. We did brum put. Uh, we just gonna put a touch more in there. You can taste the rum, but we gonna put that much more. We did bread pudding. He just made a rum sauce. The bread pudding is in the oven. Hey, Jason Moore. What's up, Jason? Dejan said, "Now you, you making him want a bologna sandwich." <laughs> um. Right, so, Mama on. Shirley found your ice cream at Publix, and she eating oh, some right now. Mama Shirley. You might need somebody to watch out after you after you eat that ice cream. No, she ain't. I think the kids are going out of town. They mess around and you be out in the street just uh -uh. hanging out. <laughs> Don't you do my shirt. Oh, let me call my sister and brother-in-law so y'all better hurry home. Babe, you need to do bologna sandwich on the live. Uh -huh. People sleep on it. Yeah. Did you say, Jason Moore, no, I didn't say a blunt. We said bologna. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank you, Miss Burgess. All right, we so love you too. I need about forty minutes so on the bread pudding. It's been in probably by like ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Babe, you ain't put no time on. Not good. Uh, so Jason is at the pool today. Okay. Jason chilling. He chilling. Yeah. Renita, thank you so much. Uh, Kip hooks everything. He everything he cooks. He does. You ain't right. just gonna get. He said, sorry, his ears perked up. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> crazy. All right, so the sauce, I'm going to just let it rest and cool off now. So will that thicken as it sits? Well, it, it thickened some there as I was heating it. Oh, someone asked what kind of spatula was that, and I uh, forgot it, earlier. It's, it's, it's a culinary spatula. Um, usually, Is it I mean, they, they might have it at other places, but I bought this at a, at a kitchen supply okay. uh, place here. But the heat... Doesn't hurt it. Right. I mean, when I say it on 550 degrees, I mean, you can't stick it directly into the fire and expect for it not to burn. The handle, on the other hand, sometimes will. Yes, that the uh, handle will get real it's hot. It's not made like the thin tip. But yeah. yeah. But I, think, I think Sam's have some. Don't look quite like that. Okay. But I think they have some. This is Kanisha. Hey, y'all. Mama need a sponsor. That's, that, That's that, Kanisha. Hey. Yeah. If she from that nice, bird bag? She keep eating the ice cream. She gonna find herself a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I had one better than Jason today. I had the recliner. Ooh, yeah, that sound good too, Al. I wanted, I wanted a, a day like that, but had to get up. Al scared me for a minute when he said he had one better. Than <laughs> I was like, what? Do he know what he's talking about? <laughs> I can. I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> I can eat the sauce by itself. I add a little coconut to mine. Can you imagine? All right, baby, leaning on that stove with you. Babe, I was. Oh, okay. Everybody, calm now down. Wind and wine on story, y'all. <laughs> okay, the bread pudding. Pass me that sauce. Pass you the sauce. Put it rich in. Okay. So, can you imagine getting two scoops of blue milk homemade vanilla and drizzling some of this over it? Yeah. All right. So that's good. I'm going to put that in a little cup. Recliner and a splash, huh? Al, uh, uh. Jace. I am in Pittsburgh. Do you do a pork rind skins? I want to make them. Never seen them made, but I can cook a whole hog. All right, mm -hmm. Jeff Clark. Well, I, no, I've never made them. Ty's grandfather. My granddaddy my used to daddy. make them. I did throw a back in the sink. That's Mr. A.L. Holmes. Um, they made them. I was a little kid. I remember my family making them. Mm -hmm. um, right there, I mean, we ate them like right out of a wash pot, black wash pot. Now, that's old school, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, old wash pot. They would cook them, and I can see my dad and I kind of stirring them. Stirring them in the oil. With like a two-by-four. I mean, <laughs> yes, the a big one. It wasn't the kind, yeah, like the stirring like that. Pamela say, Thai girl stuff. I know, sis, I know. So that's that rum sauce we're going to put on that. That, uh... That's about a half a... That's one of my favorite mm. coffee cups. Babe, don't um me. Uh-uh. Taste don't that with your tongue. Why you... Hi, huh, what else I'm going to taste the weed? <laughs> you don't need the bread pudding, do you? So Hold on. <laughs> I just need some ice cream. It oh, ain't even man. ice cream that's right good. now. It's ice. So the bread yes. pudding is cooking. Uh, we, you know, we need a few minutes. 
to get it ready. So, while I'll going, see. anybody got any questions or anything they want to ask me right now while that's cooking, go ahead and fire. It could be anything. It don't have to be cooking. It could be off the cuff. It could be stuff you would be afraid careful. for me to answer. I'll do it. Be careful what you I ask for. my grandma with me. <laughs> Your grand, grand, say it right because you sound like you said your grandma. <laughs> Well, that's what we call it, baby. You know that. Christine Jackson. Yes, but she's straightening it out. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. They're having a whole side conversation. <laughs> um, Al said he waited till five, and he, he took a sip of a 10-year Widow Jane. Widow Jane. I'm not familiar with Widow Jane, but that sounds like either a scotch or a bourbon ale. Am I right? If so... Maybe I need to get in the car and ride up there and sit on the couch. Wrap the size. <laughs> Al said, head. you better bring him a bologna sandwich. <laughs> Put some rum ice cream with it. But hey, I think you should scoop up some, uh, one scoop of ice cream and run some of that sauce over it. Just, just to tickle my fancy. Just huh? for the heck of it? Just for the heck right of it. Right now while we waiting? You booked them flights yet, Jason said? No, but I'm going to get it, brother. We coming. We coming to Kansas. Al man. said it's a bourbon. You should be shamed. <sighs> Sorry. You call yourself a bourbon man. I am a bourbon man, but there's so many out there now. I'm, I'm getting that one, y'all. Do they televise NBA drafts? I'm not sure, yes, Miss. They yes, they do, Miss Cindy. Oh, yes, they do. I knew that. Can you freeze me some of that bread pudding and send it to me? The sale, I know for a fact. Ice cream. I just bought a whole half a gallon <laughs> ice cream. Don't make me go in there and, and, and Lord, jump on Lola. Lord, I tell you. So everybody calm down. We looking for ice cream. I found it. Chef found it. He didn't know where it was. I'm standing over in the kitchen in the cut. <laughs> I thought the ice cream was gone, baby. Where so let me get a ladle out of it. How do you season and prepare a whole chicken? This is BP Justice. How do you see? Yolanda, I was going to jump on her. And it was going to be more so because she ate that much ice cream in sh such a short period of time. Know how, how, how does, yes, that was BP Justice. So if, if you're cooking it whole, uh, depending on how you're cooking it, if you, mm -hmm. you, I mean, for me, I'm either going to roast it or put it on the grill and smoke it. How do you season it? How do, well, we get to that part. Um, but I'm going to... Yeah, after I check it out and make sure everything is good, and if I want to pull any fat off, if I, I don't want to do that. Uh, but I'm going to rub probably just a little bit of olive oil on it. That's mm -hmm. my preference. And then I'm going to sprinkle with berberay and a little kosher salt. And if you wonder what berberay is, I don't have any out here right now. Um, yes, you do. I love bourbon. I'm just not in my ice cream. Um, That's Miss Bourbon. I'm going to put a little berberay on it, which is this right here, and some kosher salt. Mm-hmm. And I'm done. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. It's going to do the trick. So, um, if you're cooking it in an oven, of course, you're going to baste it. A whole chicken. So, mm -hmm. you'll have not butter. Really, not really. I, I'm a unless base. you're trying to oven I'm, roast it. I'm going to roast it, but I'm not going to cover it because I want the skin to be crunchy. Okay. I, I prefer the skin to be crunchy on a, on a roasted chicken versus... Uh, Basting it. Covering like it words, and, and, yeah. and steaming it in there and the skin being kind of tuggy. I want a, I want a crispy skin. Mm -hmm. So like somebody missing, mentioned the, the, the cracklings or the chicharrones mm -hmm. or the skins, I want the chicken of the skin to have a crunch to it as well. And juicy in the middle and crunchy on the outside. Chef Bunky D is on. Hey, brother. What's happening, brother? How are you? And Bunky D and his wife, Tanya, man. I got to talk about them because they do some cool stuff. They do some cool cooking. I'm, I'm always praying for your help, brother. And uh, check him out. Chef Bunky D. Is, cooking does, with Chef Bunky. Cooking with Chef Bunky D. Mm -hmm. uh, they do some bad stuff. When I say bad, is it good? <laughs> I just pinned the site for the Berberay seasoning. Chef makes the Berberay seasoning. Um, it's cooking with kipb.net. So, Ty, I want to taste this ice cream with a little bit of sauce. So I ain't going to give you too much, today. baby. Hey, Cindy Sneed. See, if you up? see the sauce is just kind of almost the right thickness, and you just let it pour over there. Okay, baby. Get your little spoon That show there. was a little bit of sauce. <laughs> Y'all see what he did to me? Baby, you can have much you want later on. You can have whatever you like. <laughs> hey. Hey, Regina. I told my friend Sonya Ross about y'all. She's here now. Hey, Miss Sonya. Hey, welcome welcome Sonya. to the party. Chef made this rum sauce for the bread pudding that's in the oven. But I convinced him to scoop me up a scoop of ice cream to put some on there. Mm. 
You like that, baby? Yes, sir. You should you should try it by baby. It's really good. Aretha, that's my favorite ice cream. What temperature and how long would that chicken need to cook? Renita said. Uh, what temperature in the oven? And how long? 375. Um, probably about 40 minutes. But if you get your an Insta read or probe thermometer, you you, you got to have it at 165. And just find the thickest part, which is you in the joints mm -hmm. um, near the thigh. Um, Go to the, the deepest part, but get it to 165. Okay. Because, you know, ovens cook different. I know the one we have has a convection in it. Mm -hmm. That can cook still stuff real quick. Um, so it just depends on your oven. But try to get to 165. Well, not try. You got to get to at least 165. Internal temp. Internal temp. So the chicken will be safely done. Pamela, to me, I almost stopped breathing. Sis. It's good. It's tasty. It's very good. I ain't trying to tease y'all, but hey, Sandra Foster, you're welcome, Renita. Sylvania, look, please answer my question, Miss Annie Williams. I didn't see it. What was it? What was the question? Let me see. Annie Williams. Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of ice cream did you put in the rum sauce? What kind of cream? It was uh. That was heavy whipping cream. Yes, heavy whipping cream. Yeah. So, uh, but give given a uh, I know you weren't measuring, but can oh, you give a what? quick for recipe for the sauce? Yes. Oh, well, I kind of measured at the beginning. Okay. I, I really did. I started off with four tablespoons of butter, mm -hmm. and I actually used the salted butter. Um, four tablespoons of butter. I used a half cup of brown sugar. Um, I used. Um, that was probably about quarter, fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. Yeah, because you and did. I, and then I added probably about three tablespoons of bourbon. That give or take. I like, have take a cup. <laughs> yes. <I'm laughs> you can take kidding. that out. Uh, but what you wanted to. Thank you, Sharon sugar Brown. Is going to, as it heats up, it's going to start to thicken up. Mm -hmm. Put that brown sugar in it. And, yeah. And then the, the cream does the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to thicken up. So if you want to make more than that, just kind of double that. Yes. And then start, if you're doubling it, start with less and, and increase the liquid if you need to. Do, you know, if it's start with less liquid, you yeah. mean. Yeah, but um, to make, to me, that's, a, that's how much you think that is? About a half a cup of sauce? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah so if you wanted to make a full cup, you would do, instead of a half a cup of use, sugar, you, you use, use a full cup, cup of cup all of, of it. Yeah. yeah. In my opinion, Kip is the best chef. Oh, Renita. Oh, thank you. you know, how much is the all, I think we all bring something different to the table. Personally. Yeah, we all have our different yeah. different flares. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes. Hello, Deborah Allen. First time order Burberry season. I'm still yeah. waiting on it. Miss Deborah Allen, we will She's update coming, you. And I'll get you updated on that. Yes. I think I, I sent someone a message today that we got a, a, a probably the biggest week of Seasoning spice orders we've ever received. Yes, and uh, actually, we, we're actually working on getting a manufacturing quote for them. Uh, yes, because we're getting so busy with it. Yeah. Right now, uh, yours truly does all the mixing and matching, and, 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 and the actually family helps mm -hmm. with, with label and everything. So uh, we just had a ton. So we're getting them out, um, getting them out, getting them out, getting them out, getting them out, and. Mm -hmm. um, just about everybody that ordered this week will receive this week mm -hmm. within the next seven days. Okay. Right. So, um, thank you. Yes, thank you for answering Cynthia's question. What does Grand Marier taste like? It has an orange flavor. Thank you, Dijon. Yeah, orange liquid. Thank was you. cooking with Chef Willie. He made a comment on something. Um, he is also another chef here on Facebook, cooking with uh, Willie C. C. Yes. Um, Cindy, he's very, he's very good and talented. He cooks large array of food as well. Very funny. Drink, cook, and eat good together. I need to try this sauce. Okay. It's coming. Oh, I was going to peek, y'all. I, I waited too late. My hey, Lakita Cersei. You got... Thank you, Christine Jackson. So, that was the sauce. I'm going to pin the recipe to the bread pudding. Um, You use four cups of bread all together, right? About six cups. Six cups. Mm -hmm. So, that bread came from different packaging. Just leftover bread we threw in the freezer. That's right. I, That's an I important use a point. Of French bread and brioche bread. Mm -hmm. but you can I, use yeah, like, loaf bread, loaf light bread. bread. Uh, last time mom made some, we actually used some um, hot dog buns and cake. I had some, you know, I had some pound cake. In pound there. cake, frozen. Yes. All right. Appreciate it, Deselle. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so six cups of diced bread. You can go to the store and buy a French loaf or two if you don't have any um, bread in the freezer. Yeah. Or, you, or you just wait. Or wait you can just wait till you accumulate. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't use bread that much, then you might have to do what I said. Yeah. Uh, um, but you do want it to, to kind of uh, stale up a little bit. Because it absorbs the moisture better yeah. when it's stale. Renita said, Kip has a lot of knowledge about cooking. He never rambles when answering questions. Thank you, Renita. You ought to see me when Ty asks me questions, though. What I'm, you be doing, Kip? Man, I'd be like, you be asking me questions like you're the defense attorney. Really? Yeah, and I'm all, no, I'm kidding. Man. I know you are. Because <laughs> I ain't that chick. Hey, Regina Jarn. <laughs> <laughs> from Delaware. I want to take a nap, but I don't want to miss anything. Oh, Cynthia, you we can, can always... We in about a few minutes. Actually, we have a party to go to in a little while. Yes, we My do. My cousin's and his son's birthday is this week. So mm -hmm. we're going over to surprise... Well, not surprise them. He invited us. Oh, no, Cindy. He um He's he's just starting out, so we've given him some pointers. He's, he's holding his own. We'll see. She said she thought it was weird that they mimic us. Yeah. Oh, hey, mean, Cynthia yeah. Green. No, Willis, Willis, good people. Regina Jarman, we love you both in Delaware. Thank you so much, Regina. I smell the bread pudding. I smell it too. Smell it? So you've made it with, in the fall, a great bread pudding would be with diced apples and raisins. Yes. In fact, today, only reason I didn't do it because Ty had a look on her face. Well, look. Like, I don't know about that. But it probably would have worked, baby. Babe, I told you. My brain couldn't wrap my brain matter but I around But I a lot of stuff that you said. I, I don't know. know about that. And then you eat it, you be like, ooh. Hey, family. I was Sister gonna Garrison. Put, I was going to put mango. Mango and, and chocolate. Into the uh, into the bread pudding. And Tyler was like, oh, no. And uh, I'm still going to do it another day. I but know. I usually I do put some. But the only reason I didn't do it is because when you said turtle, I said, hmm. Yeah, gonna roll with that. cause you had the caramel. Um, yes, I need to know how to make your dressing for the salad. That's Miss Burgess. Okay, Miss Dolores Mr. Burgess. Miss Dolores Burgess. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tomorrow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Miss Burgess a, a simple, and she can go from there. Okay. Uh, a simple base. Okay. Um, I usually use a fourth cup. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna even do. I usually do half and a fifty. Uh, one, uh, two to one. Mm -hmm. um, so if I use the half cup of, or I'm just going to say a fourth, fourth cup of vinegar or citrus, whether it be orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, some type of citrus or vinegar, I'm going to use a half cup of oil. Okay. Olive oil, um, canola oil, olive oil happened to be my choice, mm -hmm. or I used some uh, avocado oil the other day. And from there... I add seasoning to it, whether it be salt, pepper, um, honey. I usually do some honey or agave. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes, lately, I've been taking fresh fruit. I'll take some strawberries. I'll take some peaches. I'll take some raspberries, blueberries. And i take a little bit of sugar. i cook it down a little bit. Strain it with a fine uh, strainer. All the, the juice and the little creaminess that you get from that, I add that along with the um, the citrus or the vinegar to give it a fruity flavor. And yeah. then I use a little white pepper or <coughs> light pepper, a little bit of kosher salt. You can eliminate that. You don't have to have that. Mm -hmm. um, any uh, fresh herbs you can use or you mm -hmm. can use dry herbs. Thyme is one I like um, that I like to use. Um, and then I have a bunch of other spices. But what you like is for its flavor, add that to, the, the, to the, your oil and vinegar base. But while you're doing that, a Taste major it. step. You got to have the temperatures need to be the same on the both liquids. You can't have one right out of the refrigerator and one off the shelf. Mm -hmm. They won't emulsify. So they need to be the same temperature. Preference is room temperature on both of them. And as you slowly pour the oil in, you have to be whipping. Or you can put everything in a great shaker <laughs> of some sort, like a, a, a salad mix, mixer shaker or something, mm -hmm. and just shake it vigorously. Until it comes together. But I like to slowly drizzle the oil in as I whisk it. I've noticed when you whisk in the mm -hmm. oil, mm -hmm. it stays one longer. Yeah, like that oil, like last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> and that, a lot of it has to do with the temperature. It has to be kind of, you can't have a cold and a hot. Yeah. Because they won't come together. I'm going to read some more comments. I hope they help you, Miss Burgess. 
Hello, Barbara Robinson. Happy Saturday. I got a pecan, a pecan in my throat. We almost there. <coughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got to drink. Need five more minutes. And after five more minutes, we're going to eat some you bread. Bet. All right. Oh, now we're going yeah. to church. Miss Donna say whip it real good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it stays mixed together longer, Dijon, when he whips it with the whisk. My mom used to put raisins in her bread pudding. That's Marvinia. Miss um, yes. Burgess said thanks. She's listening carefully. Listen closely, click carefully. <laughs> this on chicken is the bomb.com. Get yours today. <laughs> Thanks to you, too. I'm learning a lot. It's phenomenal, too. Don't get me wrong. Barbecue rub is great, too. Oh, okay. He just have a seasoning for diabetes with no salt. That's Jeffrey Clark. He's learning a lot watching us as okay, well. Thank you. Great, brother. So, I need to get a, a nice little serving vessel. Mm -hmm. gonna put the bread pudding on, right? Yes. You gonna cut a piece? How am I gonna cut it? It's gonna be ready to you cut. You know what Mama told me last night? This what? morning, I was talking to my mom. She said, "Baby, I watch you cook something, and you like your own guinea pig. You cook it, and then you eat." <laughs> I said, yeah, Mama, my own guinea pig. <laughs> I thought it was fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to eat a bowl, baby. Thank you, Renee May. I'm turning on a piece of ice, y'all. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm in Birmingham. If they were here, my God, they would say, she worse than man greedy. Miss Di, uh-uh. <laughs> What's that? If, you were, if we were close to Birmingham, we would say, she worse than man greedy. Miss <laughs> Di, you said? Mm-mm. Miss Pamela Dow. Miss Pamela Dow, how yes. are you? <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you the other day, Miss Dow. Mm-hmm. Yolanda. Your stuff is coming. Alright, so we almost there. Yolanda Lampkin said, um, chef, chef makes it look easy, but it's not. You'll have a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, Yolanda, there's a lot of cleaning going on yeah. around here. Um, yes, you have to taste your own food. Yes, you do. Um, who taught Kip how to cook? cook? Cynthia. Um, his mom was his inspiration. Yeah. He's traveled a lot. He worked in the industry for over 20 years. So, um, 30, over 30 years, my years bad, over 20 with the same company, but over 30 years of culinary experience. So he's, uh, self-taught as though you could say school of hard, not light life. I would love to be y'all's guinea pig, Miss Snead. That means it's good when you eat your own food. That's right. Can you please pin your website? Yes, ma'am. Miss Annette. Right. I'm repinning it. You're going to use a, a green school. You scooping or cutting? I'm scooping. Mm. Bay. Right. Hit me on my money. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Where the green scoops at? Um. Lola came in. She, I appreciate her. She rearranged the whole kitchen. Lola said she ain't gonna never touch your kitchen. Now nah, I'm just like. Lola. I got to go back and look at this later. Yes, ma'am, Miss Donna. The Burberry is gonna be on the Facebook. Yes, ma'am, Sharon. So the bread pudding is about to come out. That is our rum sauce over there, sitting, waiting to be used. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That bread pudding smells so good. Is Kip's like he did hit me on my bottom, Miss Donna? <laughs> he <laughs> get on my nerves. I do. No, you don't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> One day you're gonna miss me. I'm going to miss you popping me on the butt, when baby. I leave this world, you're going to be riding like mama talking about that's, daddy. Baby, that's the only way I'm going to miss you, ain't it? You got Mr. Irvin out of <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm here to Lord, out. today that bread pudding smells good. Okay, everybody. Thank you for holding on. We about to pull it out. Babe, don't you need something else? Mm -mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Mr. Willis, see, he's on sound through. She said she heard that sound through her Bluetooth. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Everybody in slow motion. Here is the bread pudding. Can y'all see? It's too funny. Yeah, he is. Can y'all see? Hey, Miss Esther. We got the fan, Miss Esther, but... 
We went to drop off some packages and UPS was closed today. So I have to get it on Monday. I really do appreciate you. He just scooped out a piece. He just dove right on in. But you might well put another scoop on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Hello. Cookies, cooking with Willis. She said that's busting, busting. Thank you, Miss Burgess, Miss Dora Burgess. You gonna put some ice cream on it, baby? Oh, so now you want to use my ice cream? So now you want to use my ice cream? Now you want to <laughs> shoot me in my pinky toe? <laughs> Miss mm -hmm. Essence say double or nothing. Every day. I just heard a noise. Oh, that's this. I go through. I'll do something that to please you, baby. Same, and baby. You want to taste that, baby? Yes, I Having do. Having you around, it makes me happy. If I get jealous, if I act like a fool, baby. it's an overreaction to loving you. I hey. want you all or nothing. I'm going to get it. What? cut me off a little bit. You want to taste it, sweetie? Um, you taste it first. I wanted to see a piece of the chocolate and the caramel in it. There it is right there. See that right there? That's the caramel? And the chocolate. Then you see that caramel oozing out of that chocolate? <laughs> now, that's a turtle. <laughs> got some bourbon. Yes, ma'am. We got some rum in the sauce. We did a rum sauce, Miss Donna. Don't slap me. Could I? Hey! <laughs> Diana said, you better sing, boy. That looks divine. Lola, you want some bread pudding? Lola said, no, ma'am. Thank you, Barbara Robinson. Thank you, Christine Jackson. I, Baby, I, I want you to taste this. The reason I want you to taste it, I ain't going to tell you, but you're going to know it when you taste it. Let me blow it for the baby. Blow it for my baby. Baby mouth. What you find about the texture of it? Other than it's burning your mouth. Oh, burning. Hmm. <laughs> you had a big bite. Mm-hmm. That's a brioche? Mm-mm. No, you just feel that lightness? It's very light. It's not tight. Mm-mm. It's very light and fluffy. Light Thank you, Dr. Kimla Johnson. Um, I will be posting a recipe. Ty, We're get, headed out. Ty, I, get, the uh, <laughs> get the recipe posted, Ty. What'd I just say? You, as they say, That's, you know your assignment. <laughs> You had one assignment. It's, they say you had one job. <laughs> listen. Listen. Um, listen, Linda. Listen. <laughs> while you're driving to the party, I'm going to post the recipe. Thank you, Miss Annette. Keep crashing me up with that face he made. Ain't it? Listen, Linda. Listen. Christopher Jones. Hey, cousin. He coming down. Can we meet up? Yes. No raisins. No raisins in this one. This mm. one is all sweet. It is. Uh, you taste that bourbon? Yeah? I, do you taste that bourbon? <laughs> That wasn't no bourbon. That was rum. I mean rum. I'm all cut up. And you shouting over the wrong liquor. Hey, Gary. Let me tell you I'm shouting over liquor. Thank you, Katie Gamble. Mm. This is a... Baby, you got any more of them candies you use? No, I use all the candies. Okay, so this is a bread pudding. It has chocolate, salted chocolate caramel pieces in it mm. with rum. Um, and then he made a rum sauce. I'm eating the whole thing. Oh, it's got way. pecans in it. Mm. Y'all see why I told him to put two scoops on there? <laughs> Do you see? Dang, he can't stop eating the shots. <laughs> Christopher Jones, you let us know when you're coming, cuz, and we'll get you a pan ready. I got Who's you, going to eat all that bread pudding? Al. Yeah, come on over, bro. We having family over tomorrow to celebrate mom. Yeah, so this will be we, a little yeah. extra, a little lanyap. Because mm -hmm. this ain't the dessert. I'm hey, making... I know what lanyap is, baby. He know what lanyap yeah, is? Yeah, I've got them Louisiana roots. All right. <laughs> he coming 4th of July. Shouting just like he did after he stole that communion. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that, Donald? Yes. <laughs> well, y'all, we got to go. Thank you so much. The bread pudding is, as Mr. Urban said, it's divine. divine. Yes. Uh, so down, Kip. Y'all, that bread wasn't gone. I'm getting my own. But you know, it's it's better to me hot out of the oven. Mm. 
All it is is bread, pecans, chocolate, and caramel. Just say all it is, baby. Four <laughs> eggs. I'm do. I'm gonna put the recipe up. Everybody, calm down. <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell me. Kip shout. Did y'all see him over there having a the praise, a whole praise dance? I be getting out of the way because the Lord gonna get you one day, playing. I know. I know my heart. I know how much I love. Will it? Will it? Wait, Willetta says, can y'all please come to North Carolina and bring the bread puddings? <laughs> Thank you, Gary Craig. We love you, brother. We're going to bring the bread pudding. I'm on the way. Y'all right, be blessed. Thank you, Miss Esther. You too. Bye-bye. It's a pleasure, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with us today on this wonderful day of June. The, what's the day, baby? The 10th? The 11th. The 11th. June 11th. Thank you for hanging out with us. It's been a plum pleasing pleasure <laughs> as well as a privilege. Mm -hmm. Keep that smile on your face. And whatever you do, make yourself happy. Make somebody else happy too. Renita, oh, thank you. We will. Praise break. Let's go. I, I just picked up the ground. <laughs> it ain't stopping the phone gone. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Turn that up now. We good ready to go, y'all. We got to go. Y'all have a good one. Hey, we're going to cook. We're going to do something tomorrow. Yeah, we'll come on tomorrow so y'all yeah, can see yeah. mama. Yeah. And, um, and join us in giving her some birthday love. Thank y'all so much for right. hopping on. We'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Take care. Yes. Bye bye. Babe, you getting the last little scoop. Baby, all that we got over there. <laughs> what you licking your finger for? <laughs> <laughs> bye, guys.